can see I'm dealing with some flashers over here. And uh, maybe you guessed this. Maybe you didn't guess this. Okay, I need to hide the secret. They're all flasher supremes. Well, that's not the secret. You'll see it later. So, see? Here's how to tell a, a flasher the flasher supreme. You open it up. Sorry, this part is messy. I'm not a professional, but I'm very good at origami. Okay, here's how I tell that a flasher, a flasher is a flasher supreme. Open it up. And then you should find a spiral, some sort of a spiral. Same thing with Flasher Big Bang. It is also the spiral. See, I just got this book here for a reason. You can see that it has a spiral pattern. Yeah, and that's what causes these flashers to have a spiral pattern. Same thing with the Flasher Supreme. You see it has a spiral pattern. And now I'm going to show you the uh, family. Too bad that I didn't fold the Flasher Big Bang. But this is the Flasher Supreme, the regular Flasher Supreme. I call this the adult. And same thing with this. You see that it has a spiral shape. I'm just going to show them all to you. See? See it? This one's hard to see because... Doesn't have a big grid. Now the 4x4. Four four. This 4x4 four four, Flash of Supreme is really hard to tell because uh because the grid is so small, like OMG. You see the spiral? Look like like here, 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 here. I'll show you why. See? This actually mirrors the pattern of this. Well, for you, okay. Yeah, this mirrors the pattern of this. If you can see, see, it's mirroring the pattern. And this is, uh, I proved it, it's a flash of supreme. And since this is mirroring this pattern, so it's called proof. This is also a flash of supreme, but it's just the grid is. Now, for the two by two grid, are you guys ready? It's a big surprise. It's one of the surprises. Three, two, one. Oh, OMG, this is a Flasher Supreme. Can you believe it? And that's how it flashes. On this one, you can't see the spiral, not even at all. But you see that, I've also got this. You see that, you see that, uh, okay, yeah. You see that this is a valley fold, right? So I make a valley fold. But why did not make another valley fold like this? Oh, that's because the book said to leave one block. So that's exactly why I did. But don't forget the mountain folds. So I made a mountain fold. Leave one block. So according to his instructions, here's what I came up with. But this made think like, huh, isn't this supposed to be a flasher? Well, yeah, it doesn't flash, but I've discovered something cool about it. It can actually spin. Oh, not now, have to wait, gotta be patient. Hey, come on, we used to spin, you know? What about Lil Hulk? Okay, I know the problem. Now it's just been right. Good luck. Oh, I give up. But it used to spin. No, seriously. It used to spin. Oh, see, it worked. It worked. Now let's try for the other flashers. Does this spin? Well, meh, not really. Or I give up. Let's try the A by A. Nope, not even close. I don't know why. Okay, I give up. Now let's try the 16 by 16. This has a very low, um, a very low, uh, it's not very likely to spin. I'm like, look at this. OMG. So, that's why this Flasher Supreme 
is also special. This is the only Flasher Supreme that spins. The 2x2 two two Flasher Supreme. And yeah, family. Oh yeah, one more thing. It's that big surprise I was showing you. As you can see, that this Flasher Supreme, here's another way to identify a Flasher Supreme. You first take a Flasher Supreme that someone has told you is a Flasher Supreme or something. Now you have to first identify that it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides like this. And it should be shaped like this. And now the second attribute is that it has a triangle sticking out. If you turn it over, it would be a red triangle or whatever color you are using. And same thing with this. See, the attributes are the same. Six-sided. And it has a triangle in the middle. So, and then same thing with the 8x8 grid. It still works. See, has a six side. This one is a little ugly because its thickness is too much. It's too much thickness. But you can still see that it's six sided and it has a little triangle sticking out. Now the 16 by 16 Flasher Supreme seriously doesn't look like it has it, but seriously does if you flatten it like a lot, a lot, seriously lots. And like you can already tell that see see it has see one side two side three side four side five side six side the reason why it gets messier and messier is because of its thickness and see it's the messy little triangle over here super small it's because of 16 by 16 grit now i'll show you how each one flashes this video is longer than usual. Here's how this flashes. Here's how this flashes. The 4x4. Four four. Okay, this is 2x2. Two two. This is the 4x4. Four four. And this is the 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, I only told you that the 8 the the one the two by two grid is not worth it. The four by four grid is it might be worth it, but still not worth it. The eight by eight grid probably worth it. Foster Supreme definitely worth it. So again, here's how Foster. Now Foster Supreme, the original Foster Supreme. For me, I like the original Flasher Supreme better. I mean, like, it's hard to fold, but not at, it's not very hard to fold. And if you make it a, a mistake, you know, you could just take a pencil or a pen and uh, squiggle it, but that's not actual origami. Actual origami is only fold to no drawing. That's what actual origami is. So, here it is. Hope you had fun with this video and even the family of Flasher Supremes wants to say bye-bye.